So this morning, we just want to welcome you today. Can you begin by telling us your name and where you're from? My name is Yvonne Bocart. I'm from Vancouver, Washington. And can you tell us what is this testimony that you have to share with the wonderful people of God today? Okay, I have been three months sober now, and um, it's something that I never even wrote down when I came here for deliverance because I didn't think it was a problem, but it was a problem because no person that drinks thinks it's a problem. We all think it's okay, and you try to weigh it by how much you drink or, oh, no, I don't drink more than that person, but I used to drink. I used to use drinking as a sleep aid. I'd pour myself too big huge glasses of gin and tonic and for, for me to get to go to bed. But now I haven't drunk for like three months and that's, that's a huge thing for me. Wow, put your hands together for Jesus. And can you tell us for how long did you have this drinking problem? I started drinking when I was 16. So, and I'm 36 now, so it's been a very long time. And how did this drinking affect your daily life? What kind of problems did it cause you and what kind of areas did it lead you into your life that you know that was not from God? Okay, so with drinking, you kind of develop a dependency and you're always thinking, you know, like you can't sleep because you know that you have to drink to go to bed and you can't socialize with people because you feel like you need to have a few drinks and you to be able to talk to people and it just you spend more money on alcohol and the more you drink the more you want to try the expensive stuff and you develop this taste for the really good stuff and you're thinking oh i'm so cool but you're not really cool and so can you tell us what exactly happened to you you said you came here and received prayer what happened to you in that time uh, when you received that prayer with the anointing water and what has changed since then so I came here for prayer line, and like I said, I didn't even write it down as one of the things that I needed to be delivered from. I went home, um, some months passed, and I went to bed, and I dreamt somebody was offering me uh, some beers in my dream, and I refused, and I, I asked them to give me some water instead, and everybody that knows me knows that from just childhood, I've always hated drinking water. I'm, I'm the type of person who even went to my doctor's office and asked him if it was okay for me to not drink water. You know, so that's how bad it was for me. And so I opted for water in my dream. And I woke up and I was like, me asking for water? Never, like I would never do that. I woke up in the morning and every time I would try to drink alcohol, you all know what it tastes like when you brush your teeth with toothpaste and you try to put alcohol in your mouth or an orange juice. That's the taste I always get. I tried to fight it. One time my cousin came to visit me, so he offered me a, um, a beer and I was drinking it. I sipped from it just a little bit and I put it on the table. And as I was going back in to reach for it, Bear, the bottle just flew and fell down. This is like, the, the bottle was where it wouldn't fall, but it just flew off and f fell on the floor. And I knew, the people that were there didn't know, but I knew what that was. That was a conviction to me, like, what are you doing? Haven't we had this discussion before? So I got really scared and people tried to mop it and I was like, no, I'll do it myself. So I mopped it quickly and I stopped drinking. I just told everybody, don't force me. I'm not going to do this. And I haven't been drinking since then. Amen. Put your hands together for Jesus. Now, we remember that you had shared a few uh, more things that has happened in regards to drinking. Uh, what can you say about that? Can you continue on with your story? So, um, when I came here, I got some anointing water and a container, and I got stickers. I went home, and I put the stickers in my house, and I prayed to God, and I said, the same deliverance that I'm getting, because when I came here, the immediate deliverance that I got was deliverance from insomnia, because I'm sure if you all watch my testimony, you know that I went back home, and I slept like a baby for like, I don't know, I think I slept like 18 hours. Mm -hmm. I, I was catching up for the time that I had lost. Mm -hmm. 
you know? And I didn't mind, I was really happy. And this was with no alcohol. It was just me sleeping as in just weak, tired sleeping. So I got the anointing water and I started to use the anointing water in different things. I put it in my humidifier so that at night when I'm sleeping, it's just all over my room, my house. I use anointing water to mop the floors in my house and I pray when I'm cleaning my house. I have every Wednesday I dedicate to, I say I'm thanking God for this house that I have and I'm praying, I always pray that whomever walks into my house leaves my house changed. As, just, as God is working on me, I pray for everybody that comes into my house to be changed. And I pray that whoever comes with evil things, let it all remain outside. Let's, let this be holy ground, you know. So my cousin came over. So my cousin came over to visit me. And the minute I picked him up from the airport, I noticed he was wearing a black chain, which had a little funny star on it. And I just looked at it and I thought, I don't like that. I couldn't tell him because I didn't want to offend him. And I just said, God, you're going to get rid of that. I don't know how you're going to do it, but you're going to get rid of that. And I forgot about it. And my, my cousin was also like a heavy drinker. He's been drinking probably from like 16. And, and I, when I mean heavy drink, I mean like the whole day. Every time you see him, he has a glass and he would be smoking cigarette after cigarette. So he came to my house on a Thursday, and on a Tuesday he left. Wednesday I left and I went to Nigeria, to Synagogue Church of Our Nations. And when I came back, he was the first person I called. I was like, what are you doing? I bet you're drinking. He was like, you know what? Funny thing is that ever since I left your house, I have never touched cigarettes, I have never touched alcohol yeah. to this day. Amen, put your hands together for Jesus. So you mean to say that after beginning to clean your house with the anointing water, that as your cousin came and he stayed at your house, that he left your house no longer being addicted to cigarettes and no longer being addicted to alcohol? Yes. And I thought he was lying to me, but then when I went to his Facebook page, I realized he wasn't lying to me because every day his post on Facebook is about how, God, how good God is, how we should worship him, how we should give him praise. He's, he's become a pastor on his own on Facebook. And, you know, so. <laughs> Amen. Truly, Jesus Christ is the restorer of our lives and of our families. Amen. And so, Yvonne, can you tell us, now that you have been completely healed and delivered by God's word, what is your advice to the people here today who are seeking such a same deliverance? Well, I can just say, don't limit God in what you have to ask of him. Like, whatever area you're looking for deliverance in, just believe and don't, like, it was said last night, don't lean on your own understanding. And, you know, you don't have to have the small bottle of the, of the anointing water just even the sprays that they're putting in our containers, just take that and use it and share it with people. I, I've found that the more I share my anointing water with people, the more I get testimonies. If you keep it to yourself, you're not sharing something that has give, been given to you freely. Give it to as many people as you want. I trick people into drinking anointing water. Whoever comes to my house, I put, you know, the, the water you put in the fridge for people, I put anointing water in it. I'm like, whether you want or not, you're going to drink some of this, you know? If you're gonna... Amen, amen. Well, Yvonne, we want to thank you for this wonderful testimony. We want to encourage you that now that you have been healed by God's word, that you will continue to be ruled by God's word so that this wonderful deliverance will remain permanent in your life. In Jesus' name.